in the next few hours. We've also got a very, very special guest, Mr. Shaky Stevens, is going to join me about quarter to 11, because he goes to bed early. So we're going to talk to Shaky about quarter to 11 for about 20 minutes, play a couple of his songs, and uh, run over the Eagles, of course, and the, the Boys of Summer. Uh, we've got a special guest coming up in just a, a couple of minutes. We're going to play a song uh, before we get him on, because this actually, he's had, you know, he's had 38 chart entries between 19, hang on, I've got a bit 1980 and 1982. This was his last chart entry in 1992, and it's one of my favorite songs that Shaky does. This is Radio. Fantastic song there. I love it. I spent a, night, a, a day actually in the, in the call exchange in Cardiff recording that with Shaky, and he's my special guest. Good good evening to you, Shaky. How are you? Hello, Owen. How are you? All right. I'm all right, thank you. I was going to say that Roger Taylor was on uh, on drums there, but somebody just rang in. I believe Roger Taylor was the Queen drummer, played drums on that song. Uh, yeah, is that right? absolutely right there. And uh, Rod Argent was on the, on it as well. Yes, he was. Uh, I know. Played the organ and uh, and produced the record. I just love that song, and it was it, it got in the charts, but I just I just it, it just epitomised you. I thought you know it was exactly the, what you're all about, isn't it? Really, I just love it. Well, it's a great song to, uh, it's perfect for the radio because of the title. And it goes on very, very well with the, the audiences when I'm on tour as well, which is great. And that's not just UK, that's throughout Europe as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a favourite with, uh, and it's a favourite of ours as well, really. We, we, we are very, very pleased to be uh, you in the company of Roger Taylor and Rod Argent as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember going to see Rod Argent once. There was, uh, there was, uh, I was on Merthyr Catholic Hall. It was on a Wednesday night. This was a band on tonight. We went over to see them, and it was Argent. And, uh, like, uh, Russ Ballard was with them, and, uh, and they, they had such... And I, they weren't even advertisers. About 40 people in there. They were absolutely brilliant. Well done. Oh, anyway... Thank you so much for spending a little 20 minutes with me on this oh, uh, Friday evening. Well, we haven't got much else to do these days, I suppose. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't even. I, I can't remember my second joke now when I start doing the show again. <laughs> I'm all right with the first one. I haven't worked for so long. Do you feel. Are you going to be a bit rusty, do you think, when you start going back to it? Well, uh, you mean on on uh, uh, performing live? You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you've got to get back into it. Yeah, but uh, you know, it'll see, you'll soon get into it with uh, you know rehearsal with the band and stuff like that. But it's uh, what's going on. It's 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 terrible, isn't it? It's it's, uh, it's so it's bad. It's really, really, really bad. You know, because uh, you can't do any gigs or anything like that. Festivals. Any type of gigs, really. You just can't do it because you can't take that risk. No, you can't. No, that's true. Very true. Very true. Right now, then, I'm going to take you back to the very beginning because you know it's been in your blood from from the word go. I think it was. I, I think you told me that your brother got you into rock and roll because was your brother older than you and he he, he got you got, got you into rock and roll. Yeah, I had several brothers as old yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah, but I think uh, Roy was the one. Well, the, the, the music in the fa in the family really went back <clears throat> way back to. Uh, the 40s, you know, the 50s, the 60s, and, and so forth, maybe before that as well, you know, yeah. before, before the 40s. Um, yeah, there, there, you know, we had the, 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 uh, a, rec, a, a gramophone with the, the horn, and then we had the dance, dance set record player. Yeah. And uh, so there was always music, and uh, we, we could all sing as well. I think uh, 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 I think it was the water down in Wales that did that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the Cardiff water comes from Merthyr, see, but you know, just got to remember that, right? <laughs> right, you know, rock. You, you've never really, you know, a lot of people have gone away. They started as a rock and rock and rollers, like Alvin Stardust when he was uh, when he was Shane Fenton, and then and he, he moved away. But you've never really moved away from your type of music because you love that type of music, and and the long may it continue. I, I just think, you know, people said it would never last, but it's lasted with Shaking Stevens. Yes, it has. Yeah, I mean, rock and roll for me, the title. Uh, uh, for that, for, for the music, rock and roll. I mean, basically, there's blues in it, there's uh, Cajun in it, there's all types of uh, um, titles and kind of music. New Orleans, it, it's all wrapped up, and I suppose it's under the umbrella of rock and roll. You you can use use that term. Mm, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, absolutely right. No. Well, well, my latest record that, that I had, Echoes of Our Times. I mean, right. that was a, a kind of a blues, uh, a blues album, um, mm. which I uh, was about the family and uh, really enjoyed doing that. 
But you're right. It's in my blood, and it won't go away. It it won't. It will. It will never go away. Never go. Well, it's, it's the same with me, really. You know, I, I'm a big Chuck fan, Chuck Berry fan, and I remember coming to see uh, Shaker Stevens in the Sunsets. You know, in 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 Penarth, I think it was. I think it was down in in Penarth Pier. I, it must have been about fifty years ago, I would imagine. <laughs> and uh, and I, I just thought eh, this band is really good. And you know, I was trying to get away from all that, but you were doing the the stuff that I loved, and I thought I said, no, don't get away from it. Let's embrace. It. This is just fantastic music. It is indeed. And, and the sunsets, you know, I, I know they 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 not with you know you don't know with the sunset for many 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 years, but you know, credit to them. I think uh, on your on your journey to stardom, I think you know they they were a big part of it in the beginning. Yeah, they was indeed. Yeah, I mean, I was with other bands before the the sunsets. Uh, you know, groups like a group like the, the Denims and. The, Olymp the Olympics. We use the name Olympics use because they you get, you get Olympic drums. I think uh, uh, so. We use that as a name. But yeah, I mean the sunsets. Uh, uh, we got together and uh, we had a good run. Uh, we enjoy what we're doing. Uh, and uh, in those days, basically, you know, you you get in your van and uh, off you'd go and you do a, a couple of gigs and uh, you know you take as. Uh, You'd uh, stay in your B and B and Bs, you know. Keep your shoes yeah. on. Don't walk on the the carpet with your just your <laughs> your bare feet. Chase hey, the egg around the place <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I, I I always remember the girls used to write lipstick on the van, you know. I love so and so, and uh, we did not much lipstick on ours, so we took the van up the up a dark lane and wrote on it ourselves. Actually, we had lipstick all over our van, but we were re rewritten it ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, you but, wrote, you wrote it on yourself. Yeah, we yeah we wrote it on ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we had ten minutes to get as many times as could get my name on on the van. It was very, <laughs> very funny. No, I know you struggled, not, not struggling, but you worked with the sixties and the seventies, and and your big break came uh, with with the Elvis show in London. Can you tell me how that came about? Um, well, we, I've, I've gone really uh, as far as I could go, really, with uh, the, the, the sunsets. Uh, mm. So we kind of parted. And um, uh, the the break with uh, oh the, the, the part Elvis came along there the West End Musical and yeah. uh, uh, there was a band uh, they were looking for they had the the early time of his life uh, and, and the latter mm. and uh, which P J Proby played so mm. they were looking for the middle Elvis who was doing songs like you know Don't Be Cruel and Jailhouse Rock King Creole yeah. all that stuff which I thought was the the best period, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that... uh, Jack Good, uh, God love him, he's not with us no more. No. Uh, but he, uh, and there was a band uh, that was on the stage with the with the company of the, of the Elvis show called Fumble. And uh, uh, one of the guys said, why don't you check out Shaking Stevens? So Jack Good came down to, I was in London at the time, in Grey, in the Greyhound doing a gig, actually with the Sunsets. And... Uh, he uh, was very impressed, and he said, "You know, would you come for a, interested in uh, coming for an audition?" And I did. I went, and uh, I was nervous, very nervous. And uh, there was a piano player there, Keith Stratton, and he said, "Okay, well, what song? What songs do you know?" And I, do you know, the, and I said, "Well, I'll try this one." But I was very, very nervous, and uh, you know, after about fifteen, fifteen, twenty minutes, he, uh, he put a phone call in, and. Uh, he said, well, I, as far as I'm concerned, you, you, you thumbs up, you know, but I have to ask Jack first, Jack Good, and yeah. Ray Cooney, um, and Brian Rex as well, because they, they were all involved with the the, the West End of the of the show yeah, uh, in the yeah. Historia. And they came down and said, uh, Jack came in, he said, my boy, <laughs> you have got it. Oh, <laughs> How did you get on with PJ Pro? Because he was a bit of a wild one, wasn't he? <laughs> He was, yeah. He, he, yes, he was a well one. Uh, um, I, I remember, you know, because I, I, with the white shoes I, I used to wear, um, he, he said, how do you go on your toes like that? And I said, well, it's... He said, no, he said, you, you, we just can't do that. He said, I think, you, I think you've got blocks in it or something. So I said, well, you're willing to try them on if you want. So... Um, we had, and Canal, you never get the same same size uh, shoe and boots. And he, he put it on, put the two on. <laughs> he had to go on his toes. 
And he fell. He went right on his back. <laughs> fell right over. I said, like, Johnny, they weren't magic. <laughs> I got, a, I got a phone call here from Lorraine in Abbeville. She says they've been a shaky fan for 39 years since I was eight. So not me, when she was eight. Uh, if, if, he, if he could do it duet with anybody again, who would it be? Oh, you had a great uh, duet with, uh, with Bonnie Tyler, of course, I remember That's that. Right, but, yeah. uh, is there anybody out there you'd like to have a duet with? Well, it depends. I think uh, it, it, it depends on the, uh, the song itself. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the person... And then the two, you know, that the, the go hand in hand, and you take it from there, really. Mm, mm. And uh, with, with the with um, Rocking Good Way, Bonnie was in the same record company as myself. I think I was on the Epic label; she was on CBS, the same company. And uh, I was doing an album uh, with Christopher Neal, and we had eleven tracks. And in those days, you know, you, you put your twelve tracks on there. He said, we need one, one, one more, and we put knocking our heads together. And um, he, said, oh, uh, he said, I've always wanted to, he said, uh, uh, he said the thing is, uh, you know, he mentioned Rocking Good Way, and I said, oh, he said, I said, that's one of my favorite records, Rocking Good Way. And uh, he said, but the only thing is that we need to get a female. And I said, well, Bonnie Tyler's on the same label, really, and that's how it started. And oh, brilliant. That's how it, yeah, so it went, yeah. I'd like to play that. We haven't got it yet, but I, but we have we we have got Last Man Alive, which is. Uh, I, did, did you write this one? No, I didn't write this one. No, but um, uh, it was written by a guy called uh, Ben Waters. Who? Um, sorry. Yeah, I didn't say anything. No, I, I'm. I listened. And I was. No, I'm just listening. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play it next. So I. I, I tell what do you want? So let, let's play this song and we'll come back to you, right? Yeah, yeah, go back again, go on. Okay, this is Last Man Alive by Shaking Stevens. What a great production and that. Last Man Alive, Shaking Stevens, he's with me. Shaky, what a great song that. I never heard it before. What a good song. Oh, thank you very much, yeah. It's, on the, it's from the album of Echoes of Our Times. How long, how long ago did he do that one? Uh, that was done uh, 2019. I we'll send you a copy. Know. I'll send yeah, you a copy please. down. Please do. I, I tell that was really, really good. We, we, we mentioned uh, Bonnie Tyler, and because uh, you, you've been very faithful to a lot of Welsh entertainers, like Geraint Watkins, for instance. I, I, I saw Geraint the other day playing in uh, in Cardiff. Well, he was on the early, uh, early, early records of mine. He's an unbelievable talent. Wow, I just, I just love him. I just, I think he's just fantastic. Uh, the way he grunts and sings at the same time. I don't know. He does it. Well, I, I saw him at the Earl Hig in yeah. in, in Whitchurch, and he just blew me away. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, uh, you could actually hear the grunts when he's playing the <laughs> piano. You know, <laughs> you to put all the instruments down. You. <laughs> 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 you mentioned Roger Taylor, who was on on drums on radio. You have also had Hank Marvin on guitar for you. Yeah, Hank Marvin. Uh, I remember I was doing a Brand Road in in, in Cardiff, and uh, you know uh, the uh, we had a radio. That uh, I was only young at the time, but uh, the radio uh, Hank Marvin was being played on on the station at the time. Yeah. And um, much later on, I mean, much later when I had my success. Uh, I wrote a song called Teardrops, and the uh, the solo kind of I could hear kind of a a sliding guitar or, or, or uh, Hank Marvin type feel on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I did this um, quiz show, and Hank was on the same same uh, panel, and I put it to him. I said, I, I've got this song. I said, but. I can hear your the guitar playing on it, and he said, uh, and I said, you, would, would you want to play? Would you play on it? And he said, yeah. He said, I'll, I'll listen to the song first. He said, and as uh, so I listened to the song, he said, yeah, I'd love to. It was right up my alley. So that was a big, big thrill for me to have Hank Hank Marion playing guitar. I mean, it's a legend, isn't he? Really? Well, well, and Albert Lee again. You played and Tony Joe Whitey. You know, yeah. These people just, you know, they, these are legends. Well, so are you, but uh, you know, a legend singing with legend and playing with legends. It must have been a great thrill. Yeah, well, uh, Albert Lee, he played the uh, lead guitar on the first album, Take One. Was it? Yeah, he did, yeah. He played all the tracks on uh, Take One. I just that was my first album with CBS. Sorry, I was on the Epic label, but it is CBS. 
and he played lead guitar on them. Oh, oh, what a guitarist, you know. Oh, he's brilliant. I saw him with uh, Organs Heroes with uh, Elio Pace on, key on keyboard a few years ago, and he, they were just amazing. Fantastic band. Yeah. We meant, you know, you're not a you're a mean songwriter as well. My dad, old Julie for me is one of my favourite songs. I, I I love that song, and you wrote that uh, naturally. Does it come naturally writing songs as well as singing them? It, it can do, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm a tune man as well. You know, we were rehearsing actually with Mickey G. Mickey G was a guitar player, uh, a lead guitar player. I love it. Oh, he's an incredible guitar player. He's not with us now, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had an idea, uh, a kind of a, a Cajun type song, mm. and uh, we had a bash, you know, just kind of knock something down. And uh, uh, Julie, why it was Julie, I don't know, but I started singing Julie, and we uh, kind of knocked it together. And uh, yeah, it worked, and it uh, yeah. it was a big. It went went to number one for me. It was brilliant. You were, and it was four. Is this four or five number ones you find, which is four number ones, yeah, and uh, three number twos, I think. Yeah. What What's it like every Christmas? Because it is the best. Next, well, I would say next to or maybe as good as last Christmas by Wham. But Merry Christmas, everyone is just it. No, we never get sick of it. It's It's a wonderful song. Thank you, you very much. But a lot of people don't get sick of it. You get humbugs as well out there as well. But uh, oh, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's all there. It's got everything. It's got the it's got the lyrics, the sentiment. Yeah. It's uplifting. Uh, it's very much sing sing along with. And yeah. um, he, uh, I don't know if I told you this story, but uh, it was. It, it, it was around about the the the, the, the Christmas time uh, months before that they were with the Band Aid, and uh, it was all ready to come out at the same time. And that's uh, right, they held it back a year. You told me that, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it would have been, I guess, number two really, and it deserved to be number one. So <laughs> I'm very proud of it. And the, uh, the, the sad thing about it, you never wrote it, which it would be because every Christmas then you could have you would go and have a world cruise, couldn't you, on the money you earn for the royalties. <laughs> Well, the guy that wrote it was a Scottish guy called Bob Heatley, and uh, he's wrote a, a few of my songs, actually. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, and Cry Just a Little Bit, and Breaking Up My Heart. And he's also the co-writer of, uh, of radio as well. Um, but a uh, lovely guy, and uh, yeah, I, I, it's, it's a great feeling to have a song that's played every year. Guaranteed every year you're going to be on over Christmas, which is brilliant. You know, you never go away then, didn't you? Don't you? Well, you've never gone away anyway, but you know, you just don't go away because that is such a good song. Like Slay is still played, Wham is still played, and the guy that would, uh, what's his name? Da, 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 dum, dum. He, he's always played, I can't remember his name now. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So, um, have you been to Wales lately? Any, any, Cal any... Calvary, Calvary, wasn't it? Ah, I, I can stop the Calvary as I mean, I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, have you been back home to Wales at all lately? Uh, not lately, not with the, the, the virus, but uh, get down w w when we can. Um, of course, my, my, my parents have uh, gone now, it's just myself and uh, my brother, who's two years older than I am, and my sister. Um, but uh, it's uh, but we keep uh, keep in touch on the phone, which is uh, well, that's always good, a nice yeah. thing to do. Yeah, I got I got to say we got a couple. Of, well, I, why don't people go to bed? I don't know, but they they and they're all listening to you, Nick. You're from Towin in Mid Wales. Please say hello to Shaky for me. Thank you for the support for the wonderful Welsh Hearts charities and presenting the defibrillator to his old school. There we are. Yeah, there you go. That's nice, isn't it? Eh? And there's, there's another one. Yeah, please say hi to, uh, to, uh, to Phil Walker from Halford West. We've been together ten years. Just want to say I love him very much, and thank you for everything he does. We love Shaker Stevens and uh, huge fans. And that's from Sandra and uh, in uh, in, Saint, in Saint Albans, I think it is. So, that's um, very nice. And, and she wants uh, a love with Wendy, which we'll play a little bit later on. Now, before I let you go, there's one song you want us to play, which is now listen. Tell me about this song. Well, this one really um, uh, now it's, the title is called "Now Listen," and um, um, it didn't really have the push that it really needed. But uh, I, I believe, strongly believe, that you you were the the DJ or the, the jock I, or whatever. I, I, but I, Owen, I, you played it first. I was the first person to play it. You was indeed, and and uh, listening, uh, uh, you said, "Guess who this is." 
I did, I did. I, you I did, did indeed, yeah. And that was in 2006, would you believe? Yeah, well, and, I And uh, I tell you what, it, it's... Uh, it it it's got a great a good great message and it uh, when I do it on tour uh, at gigs and things they they really they, they love it there's something about it yeah, it's a great song now listen before we say so long do you uh, when this is all over are you planning a tour are you planning to go out back on the road well I, I'm actually doing a project now uh, we're doing a project um, and we've been on it for for, for quite a while um, so. Um, It'll all be revealed uh, in a couple of months. Well, that's good news. Well, I can't wait. I can't wait to see you again because uh, we've been uh, mates for uh, quite a few years now. Oh, and, uh, ages and ages, yeah. Uh, and it's uh, always a pleasure to talk to you. And I, I'm honoured to know that I'm the first person to ever played this on the radio. We're going to play it now. Shaky Steams, that's all I can say is thank you for your time. Um, I love to everybody who knows you and me, and uh, we'll get together soon. Thank you very much, and thank you for the support, and uh, we must do it again. Yeah, thank you, Shaggy. All the best. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Shaggy Stephen. Now listen, here it is. Now listen from uh, Shaggy Stephen. What do you have to uh, he's, uh, he's a good old cat, an Ely boy. See, cat, he, he, I didn't say it, but we went up to see his old house uh, when we were, we, this old house, <laughs> when we went, uh, we did a television show together in uh, in the late 90s, and uh, we, I took him at the street he was where he was born and everything, in, in a Cardiff uh, taxi. Yeah, we had a smashing time. He's a really, really nice guy. Don't do it. Guy. Uh, Owen Money here on BBC Radio Wales. I'm here till uh, one o'clock and we've got lots to come. We've got the true and false. Nobody's had a go at that yet. We've got the reverse too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jackie, uh, look, I'm going to play some Shaking Steams for you now as well. So, because uh, uh, we, we didn't, we only, we played three songs, which I really like, and he loved them. So, you know, he, he always, we always play his hits, but uh, he's probably in the land of Nod now. So, we're going to play, uh, gonna play a Shaking Steams song just for you as well, and for somebody else, because I've got, I, I did this request a little bit earlier, and we'll do it again now. So, Jackie, lovely talking to you. And you. You take uh, care, love. Thank you so much. I hope I haven't made the show much. No, I'll be Jackie in Liverpool, and uh, I, we did this earlier. Please say hi to Phil Walker from Haverford West. We've been together 10 years. I just want to say I love him loads, and thanks for everything he's done for me. Please could you play uh, Love Worth Waiting For by Shaken Stevens. we both huge Shaky fans. That's from Sandra. Sandra, I thought it was in St Albans, but Sandra Albans. Here we go. A love Worth Waiting For. Love Worth Waiting For from Shaken Stevens. Lovely man.